Okay, so what's up with coronavirus and dogs? Should we really be worried? As this pandemic develops, here is the current scoop on dog-related issues. Until recently, most of us were probably not that tuned into what a virus was or what it had the potential to do. Now COVID-19, a unique coronavirus, is forcing us to pay much closer attention. What do we know? What should we be doing? We get the same good advice from every source. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Avoid touching your face. Keep your distance. Stay away from those who are sick. If you're sick, self-quarantine. Or wear a dogs, our companions. And comfort in hard and boring times in this program. The internet is a plus and minus in circumstances like this. While access to information is great, lots of way less useful intel also gets wide circulation. But we have something special for you. In this video, we're going to answer eight of the most frequently asked questions surrounding coronavirus and your dog. Can we really get the virus from our dogs? Good question. Stay tuned. Question one. Does petting our dog expose us to the virus? Highly unlikely. According to the American Veterinary Medicine Association, AVMA, because your pet's hair is porous and also fibrous, it's very unlikely that you will contract COVID-19 by petting a plane with your pet. The caveat here is that it's theoretically possible for a dog's coat to serve as a holding spot for viruses. Much like a doorknob or light switch, a simple solution, wash your hands. After scuffling around with your pup and be mindful about burying your face in his or her coat. Question two, how can we protect our dog's health? While there's no vaccination against this new coronavirus, it's now even more important to protect our co-pilots against known disorders. Assuming the vet agrees, make sure they're up to date on their vaccinations, particularly for respiratory ailments like canine flu, parainfluenza, and bodetella. On our end of the leash, we also advise not to allow our dogs to lick us on the nose or mouth. A wise idea regardless. We know how much you love your dog, and keeping you informed is our top priority. So you must be anxious to know, can you get coronavirus from your dog? But before we get to that, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more doggy tips and best practices to keep your dogs healthy. As promised, question three, the most asked question. Can we get COVID-19 from our dogs? Current update as of March 2020 from the Center for Disease Control, World Health Organization, and the American Veterinary Medical Association is that the threat of transmission from dogs to humans is virtually non-existent. The most important thing to understand is that the most common way people get infected is from other people. Social distancing and hand washing are the most effective things you can do to protect yourself and your family. If you or someone in your household becomes sick, it is important to minimize the contact of the sick person with other people in the house to avoid spreading the virus. If we are sick, we are more likely to infect our pets than they are to infect us. Now isn't that a relief? It doesn't end there. Question 4. How should we prepare to care for our dogs in the immediate future? Just like we'll plan for any emergency, have a two to three week supply of food, treats, supplements, and any preventive or maintenance medications your dogs may need. Our favorite dog treat is Queenie's Dental Dog Treats. Not only do dogs find it delicious, but the unique chewy texture of Greenies Dental Treats fights plaque and tartar, all while helping to eliminate stinky dog breath. Treat your dog to delicious dental treats that are easy to digest and made with natural ingredients loaded with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Get yours today by checking out the link in our description. As a bonus, we added some other tasty treats your dog is sure to enjoy in the description below. Another way to care for your dog during coronavirus is to stock up on regularly used cleaning supplies for any doggy accidents. 
keep those accident smells to a minimum with highly rated Bissell Positively Clean Pet Stain and Odor Eliminator with Febreze. This spray permanently removes pet stains from carpets, dog beds, litter boxes, and any other water safe surfaces. Find this product in the description below. Question number five. What about outdoor activities? Assuming we're in good health, unleash walks are definitely on the agenda. Take them solo rather than with friends and in lightly occupied areas with plenty of space. Again, it's about social distancing and it's for our benefit. Both people and dogs are social animals, so we know it's not easy. Also continue to be a good pick it up citizen. These days, many parks are not able to provide garbage service. So bring your own poop bags and be prepared to dispose of them at home. Question number six. What can we do inside? Many will be spending way more time at home for the foreseeable future. Our dogs are likely to consider this a bonus, but it presents both us and our pups with challenges such as how to maintain a routine, getting into bad habits and trying to keep the dog occupied when we are home walking. Lots of stay at home time may give you the opportunity to incorporate some brain training for your dog. Then how to get your dog to listen to you, control aggressive behavior, and eliminate uncontrollable barking. You can also teach your dog some fun activities like playing the piano and stacking rings. Trust me, it's possible. Don't believe me? See the dog training course in the description below. To unlock the hidden talent in your pup from the comfort of your home, you can thank me later. Who says quarantine has to be boring? Question seven. Should we make or keep vet appointments? Call ahead. In some areas of the country, vets are setting up systems that minimize close person-to-person -person contact, as well as encouraging telemedicine and over the phone or online follow-up. Of course, if we feel like we might be coming down with something, we need to let the vet know that as well. The visit may be able to wait. And our last question for our beloved dog walkers. Should professional dog walkers take any special precautions? Yes. Specialists from Ontario Veterinary College's Center for Public Health advises those who provide commercial dog walking services to make sure that both owner and dog are healthy to maintain distance at the handoff. And yes, once again, to wash their hands thoroughly between and after outings. Now that the most asked questions are done, we want to leave you with some handy tips on how to effectively clean your home for coronavirus. Cleaning high traffic surfaces around your home is just one preventive measure recommended in helping prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And with that being on the top of everybody's mind, we want to remind you what the most effective cleaning tools for this important practice is. Mild dog friendly cleaning solutions are not sufficient for coronavirus. Instead, experts at the Centers for Disease Control and the Environmental Protection Agency offer the following recommendations for disinfecting against this virus. Also remember to be mindful of the safety of your pets in selecting your cleaning products. Many can be toxic. According to experts, here's what will not work against coronavirus vinegar. Although many may suggest using diluted vinegar as a dog-friendly cleaning solution, there is no evidence that vinegar is an effective disinfectant against coronavirus. Vodka. Despite some social media claims, vodka is typically not strong enough to sanitize against germs, including coronavirus. The concentration of alcohol in most vodkas fall well below the 60% level recommended by the CDC. So what does work to what of the coronavirus? Bleach solution. Dr. Paul Pottinger, a professor of infectious diseases at the University of Washington Medical Center, tells us that bleach is very effective at killing the coronavirus, as well as virtually every other germ on the face of the planet. To protect your skin, you should wear gloves when using bleach and don't mix the bleach with anything but water. Here's the CDC's formula for making a diluted bleach solution. Use 5 tablespoons of bleach in 1 gallon of water. 
Keep in mind that even diluted bleach is a harsh substance and can both damage surfaces and be harmful if swallowed by pets. So handle with care. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is not as strong as bleach and so experts recommend not to dilute it but use it strict. Alcohol. Rubbing alcohol products that are at least 70% alcohol will kill the coronavirus with less potential for damage than bleach. When using rubbing alcohol, it is recommended not to dilute it. Soap and water. A simple solution and effective in most cases, a few drops of dish soap to 8 ounces of water is a good ratio. The soap removes the viral particles attached to hard surfaces, suspending them in the water and allowing them to wash away. For those who typically advocate for the use of all natural and mild cleaning solutions, unfortunately, the coronavirus requires more powerful cleaning tools like the ones mentioned above. Make sure to use them safely and protect your dog from any solution you use. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give us a like. If you're new to our channel and you like it, please subscribe. Let us know if there were any questions we missed or topics you would like us to cover. Put it in the comment section below. As always, all the links about the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So if you want to find the best prices and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.